November 4th, 2018, just out of the blue, it was announced that Floyd Mayweather would be coming out of retirement, but as a mixed martial artist. Uh, I don't, I'm not fighting no more, Kelly. Let me do my job. <laughs> Even more heads were turned when they heard who his opponent will be. 20-year-old kickboxer Tenshin Nasukawa. He's out of Japan, and he'll be taking on the former champion of the world on New Year's Eve 2018. And just around the corner. Nasukawa! But this is not a Rocky Balboa story of the underdog getting his one and only shot in the ring. Tenshin is known as a force to be reckoned with in his home country. After defeating Japan's rising bantamweight champ by unanimous decision, well, Tenshin is currently sitting as the featherweight world champ. Now, with Floyd being an undefeated fighter, most people would believe he's a shoe in to win the match. And with his victory against Conor McGregor still lingering in people's minds, well, he's definitely the favorite. But much like Conor did for Floyd with switching over to boxing, well, the legendary fighter will be doing the same with MMA. Now, while yet it's to be announced whether the fight will be straight boxing or mixed martial arts, one thing is for sure, this will be a fight for the ages. Tension even stated, It's the biggest moment of my life and I want to be the man who changes history. I'll do that with these fists, with one punch, just watch. Floyd has expressed an equal amount of determination, stating, I wanted to do something, I wanted to display my skills outside the US and be in a special fight. I want to give the people what they want, blood, sweat, and tears. Due to this being a breaking story, we thought it would be only appropriate to do a versus episode to prepare for the big match. Now, as you know, my name is Michael McCrudden and we do plenty of versus videos here on this channel. We've put like every celebrity you can think of against one another. Recently, we did 50 Cent versus Ja Rule and uh, well, you guys were allowed to vote in our poll. It was a landslide win with 91% going to Fiddy. It was murder. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this versus with Floyd against Tenshin Nasukawa. And I think I said his name perfectly. Round one, fight. Now aside from these two athletes being of different fighting styles, there are several other factors that set them apart and only make the fight much more interesting. Now there's actually a massive age difference between the two, which will surely be a topic of conversation leading up to the fight. Born in 1998, Tenshin is just 20 years old. While Floyd Mayweather, well, he was born in 77. That makes him 41. But as you know, well, black, it don't crack. He, he's got to, Rick is making him have to fight. I can say that, right? I'm not offending anyone. It's a good thing. Now, Floyd, he's had a storied career with zero losses, and out of the 50 fights he has won, well, 27 have been by knockout. As for Tenshin, well, he's also had zero losses, with 27 being the number of fights he's had in total. Now, out of these fights, 20 have been by knockout. As for MMA, well, Tension is also 4 and 0. Obviously, Tension has many more matches to come in his career, so we're not going to knock him for a lack of experience. However, Floyd, he has won a bronze medal for his contribution in the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, so, well, he has a leg up in the competition. He's also been the winner of three U.S. Golden Gloves, as well as the U.S. National Championship. And as a result, well, round one, it's gotta go to Floyd Money Mayweather. Round two, fight! All right, for this round, we're gonna take a look at the controversy of both fighters to see who comes out the cleanest. And with that said, well, I think we already know the answer. Either way, let's take a look. While Floyd Mayweather is without a doubt one of the greatest boxers in history, well, his life outside the ring, it's, it's had a few lows. In 2002, the fighter was arrested on two counts of domestic violence and one count of misdemeanor battery. This resulted in him receiving a suspended jail sentence, being forced to undergo anger management courses. He was charged the following year for assaulting a bouncer, for which he received yet another suspended jail sentence. Throughout his career, Floyd has gone to receive several other charges for domestic battery, coercion, harassment, and robbery. In December of 2011, he was sentenced to 90 days in county jail for a battery charge stemming from late 2010. He served just over two months of the sentence from June 1st to August 3rd. His alleged troubles, they've been highly publicized by the media, with even Ronda Rousey taking shots at him while accepting an award at the 2015 ESPYs. Yeah, you don't hit a woman, you know? But I really say that I wonder how Floyd feels being beat by a woman for once. <laughs> wow. I'd like to see you pretend to not know who I am now. Wow. As for Tension's personal life, well, the 20-year-old has been open about his belief in ghosts and alien life. As for his most embarrassing moment, well, the young man confessed about his crush. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we can call this kid a renegade. 
Now diving into even more serious territory, judging by this hat in this photo, well, Tenshin clearly has no trouble appropriating Amish culture. I wonder if that'll come back to haunt him just before the fight. In all seriousness, Tenshin seems to have stayed out of trouble, although information on his personal life is relatively scarce. As a result, we're gonna have to give this round to Young Tenshin. And that sounds like a, like a rap name, Young Tenshin. Well, if kickboxing doesn't work out, eh, maybe he could. Tension, congrats, you won round two. Round three, fight! The fight is scheduled for New Year's Eve of this year in Tokyo and will no doubt be one of the most televised events of this year. Now there are several questions left up in the air surrounding details, including the fight's format, the weight class, and the rules. But the main question on everyone's mind is whether or not 41-year-old Floyd Mayweather will be up for the task of taking on Japan's most promising kickboxer. Now people are also curious about Tenshin's young age and whether he'll be able to handle a jab from one of boxing's most ferocious figures. However, Tenshin, he has expressed confidence in the fight's results with the young man determined to bring victory to his home country. He's said to have a mean left hook as well as one of the hardest kicks in the sport. Packs a lot of power. Look at this, boom, my goodness. Well, he will have the upper hand if they do decide to fight MMA style, Floyd packs one hell of a punch. Seriously, ask the bouncer he knocked out back in 2005, he can still feel it. This kid right here is very, very special. He, he's, he's powerful, he's fast, he's strong. So I'm gonna have to leave the third round up to you guys. Who do you think will win at the big fight on New Year's Eve? Will it be Floyd or will it be Tension? I look forward to reading all your results. Please sound off in the poll above my head, also in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in our next Versus. Ooh, and it's a good one. It's Treasure up against Mo Vicky. <sighs> this is like my own personal Street Fighter. I just gotta put people against each other and it's a lot of fun. My name is Mike McCrud, you already know that. In fact, we have an entire playlist dedicated to our versus videos. So if you like these ones, be sure to check that out. Let us know who's next. We should do it before they're famous on tension. Can't wait to have to say his name a few more times. <sighs> I'll just do better than I did with BTS. That was, uh, that was embarrassing. <laughs>